let us solve this problem a 50 kilowatt 440 volt 50 hertz star connected synchronous generator with per phase impedance of 0.8 plus j 4.5 ohm is working with rated terminal voltage it is required to supply a power of 25 kilowatt to the bus we have to calculate the minimum excitation emf and also we have to find out the corresponding stator current here we have to calculate the minimum excitation emf so that the synchronous generator can supply a power of 25 kilowatt to the bus to solve this problem let us first draw the equivalent circuit of the synchronous generator e uh, ef is the excitation voltage zs is the synchronous impedance V is the terminal voltage. Here I want to write the expression for the complex power output of the generator. The complex power output can be written as V into IA conjugate. You can write the IA expression in this way. IA can be written as EF minus V upon ZS. In the case of synchronous generator, you know that the excitation voltage always leads with the terminal voltage by an angle delta. That's why I have written here EF angle plus delta minus I am taking the terminal voltage as reference. That's why I have written V angle 0 divided by ZS can be written as ZS angle theta s. you can solve this equation and after solving this equation you will get the complex power output in this manner from this equation you can find out the real power output of the synchronous generator which can be written in this way VEF upon ZS cos theta S minus delta minus V square upon ZS cos theta S if I manipulate this equation then this equation can be further written as E of cos theta S minus delta equals to ZS upon V P output plus V square upon ZS cos theta S now you can see on the right hand side of this equation all the values on the right hand side are constant the values of ZS V P output theta s everything is constant here so you can say that ef cos theta s minus delta is constant in the question we have to find out the minimum excitation emf so that we can deliver 25 kilowatt power to the bus this excitation emf will be minimum this excitation EMF will be minimum when the term cos theta s minus delta will be maximum. The maximum value of cos theta s minus delta is 1. When the value of cos theta s minus delta will be 1, then this excitation voltage will be minimum. So EF minimum correspond to the value of delta when the value of delta is equal to theta s what is the meaning of theta s theta s can be calculated from zs if you convert the rectangular form into the polar form you will get the value of theta s and the magnitude of zs the magnitude of the magnitude of zs is 4.57 and the magnitude and the value of theta s is 79.92 degrees now, here we have concluded that this excitation EMF will be minimum when the value of delta will be equal to theta s. Now I am going to calculate the minimum value of the excitation. Remember, this excitation will be minimum when the term cos theta s minus delta will be maximum. The maximum value of cos theta s minus delta is 1. When 
cos theta s minus delta is 1 then ef is minimum again I am using this formula but in place of cos theta s minus delta I have written here 1 now see in this equa equation we have to calculate minimum value of excitation and all the values all the values are known to us the generator has to deliver 25 kilowatt power to the bus this is a three phase power I am writing the power output on a single phase basis that's why I have used divided by 3 here see this voltage is the terminal voltage of the generator which is 440 volt the generator is delivering power at the rated voltage so the line to line voltage the line to line terminal voltage is 440 volt but this voltage which I have used here is line to neutral voltage because the power which I have written here is on a single phase basis so the voltage is line to neutral voltage this is line to neutral voltage the value of theta s is 79.92 and the value of zs is 4.57 easily we can calculate the minimum excitation the minimum excitation voltage line to neutral is 194.376 volt if you convert the line to neutral voltage into the line to line voltage you will get this value the minimum excitation voltage line to line is 336.7 volt you know that uh, in the question it is written that the synchronous generator is star connected so to find out the line to line value just you have to multiply root 3 into line to neutral value so you will get the line to line voltage now I want to calculate the value of IA the value of IA can be calculated as EF minus V upon ZS this EF is line to neutral voltage and this terminal voltage is also line to neutral voltage the minimum excitation voltage line to neutral is 194.376 so or in other words you can say 336.7 divided by root 3 this excitation is leading with respect to terminal voltage by an angle 79.92 see the excitation will be minimum when the value of delta is equal to theta s and the value of theta s is 79.92 that's why in place of delta I have written 79.92 the line to neutral terminal voltage is 440 upon root 3 angle 0 and you can put the value of ZS in this way you can calculate the value of the IA which is 63.8 angle 59.06 ampere the terminal voltage is 440 upon root 3 angle 0 the terminal voltage is the reference voltage that's why it is that's why I have written angle 0 here you can easily find out the phase difference between the terminal voltage and the armature current and after calculating the phase difference you can find out the power factor and the power factor is 0 0.5141 leading in the question we have to calculate the minimum excitation EMF and the corresponding stator current so the minimum excitation EMF is this 336.7 volt line to line and the stator current is 63.8 angle 59.06 ampere 
So in this way we have solved this problem. Here we can cross check our answer. See to cross check use the formula P equals root 3 VI cos 5. The terminal voltage line to line is 440 and the value of the stator current which we have got is 63.8 so you can put the value of the IA which is 63.8 and the power factor which we have calculated is cos 59.06 so put the value of cos phi here and after calculation you will get 25 kilowatt and you can see in the problem that the generator is delivering 25 kilowatt power to the bus and we have cross checked our answer whether the value of IA is correct or not. So in this way we have completed this question. There are some key points in solving this question. The first key point is when the terminal voltage is line to neutral then the power output should be written on a single phase basis and you will get the excitation voltage line to neutral. If you are using the terminal voltage line to line then you should use the three phase output power and the excitation voltage which you will calculate will be line to line. Now the second point which you should remember is always use line to neutral excitation voltage here and line to neutral terminal voltage here to get the value of stator current. Please do not use line to line voltage excitation. Please do not use the excitation voltage line to line and please do not use the line to line terminal voltage to get the value of a stator current. These are the two points which you should remember while solving this problem.